Good late evening, everyone. T Speaker 222 XRP Future Millionaire with the side bet on XLM and Future. Did you bet OG so we can see Bitcoin? And that's what we were talking about all week to see if we could do this, ladies and gentlemen, and try to push this last little part. And it's finally fucking doing it. It only took two weeks. But this would be that all enticing spot up here that we've talked about. Hit this cup. And run up to here. This is what we talked about. And this is what we've been waiting for. We finally got this extension. And now you can see in the three hour, the four hour, it's starting to pull off the top now. This is finally, you need this. If you if we're going to get this B extension and Bitcoin's doing it. Now, we got the close over 113. So with that kind of a move, you know, I would love to say that XRP's getting to $1. forty for that B extension. But XRP's a bitch. But it held that perfectly, went down to a dollar ten like I needed it to in my own head. So that's obviously a possibility. DGB to me is a real possibility as well. This thing is just a ticking time bomb. And I think six cents, you know, if it does break up here, it held my spot. So I'm, I'm likely gonna buy a position in the DGB if I go anywhere. But it's severely undervalued right now. It should be much higher than it is. It's it's severely undervalued. And then XLM. If I was gonna go between um, Do or uh, XRP and XLM, purely for price, I would just probably go with XLM. It's the price gap. But then again, if you're a fan of XRP, obviously you go with XRP. I came on earlier and said, "Why don't you buy it a dollar ten if you were gonna, or yeah, a dollar ten if you're gonna buy it a dollar thirteen? That's why I said if you're gonna buy there, that's a big difference. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but could have saved yourself the buy-in fees on the in and out just by that little move down. But I mean, nothing in the grand scheme. But watching Bitcoin, it rebroke. Re it broke fifty-nine thousand to 59,390 but as you can see the altcoins are still bleeding right now but that's because the money's pouring into bitcoin right now if you are if you're expecting your altcoins and you got to wait for this tiny minute right now and let this reshuffle then the money will start reshuffling into some of these altcoins the key i did a great technical analysis for some on that on my swing traders anonymous unless i snuck yeah my swing traders anonymous But there's a way that, uh, you know, there's one that I've been watching very closely too that I haven't really talked about, but it's Solana. At this point, that hold, the pullback, and with what Bitcoin just did, this might be the way to go. It's got the slightly slanted M, which means it's probably going to pull up like that. Because if it pulled down, you could say it was like that. Whoops. But if it comes down and pulls, now we're starting to look at a hanging W. So we're going to see, but Solana, if it does pull up here, wait a minute, it's at 150. If Solana were to pull up here, just a little heads up, we'll do it from 151. But just to come way up here to get rejected, that's a huge ass game. If we're going by painted recognition, do you guys see it turning into a hanging W? Could you see it turning into that? I sure as hell could. I absolutely could. Now let's see if we can see it going the other way. Oops. Some people did look up. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like uh, Solana, with the recent developments with Bitcoin, I think that would be... Looks to me like it's prime. It stopped midway through that, and it could be prime for a move. A rather large move by Solana. So, yeah, that's a quick update. So, obviously, make an educated and informed decision, but the crypto market cap's up $4.6 uh, billion. And if things are going to start popping, they're going to start popping soon. Um, it's not an immediate reaction when Bitcoin goes flying, but they do tend to follow pretty closely. So another one I have my on is Theta, obviously an H-bar. 
Eighth bar's already got this beautifully drawn out, this hanging W. That I think, you see this? See how this is? I think eighth bar is just way ahead. But I think Solana will also look like that. It's just a little bit bigger. So take a look at Solana. Take a look at eighth bar. So I think uh, so, uh, each bar is a little bit ahead of Solana. That's what I think. But one more time with Solana. And I'll let you guys go. Fuck are you at, Solana? Yep. That's what I think. So if we just pulled up to where H bar is, it came up to like here. You know, up part of this pattern. So then you start to have that W formed. I mean, yeah, I think there could be a rather large game here. Because you got an uptrend forming, clearly, after this uh, hold. So, this is exactly where you'd want to be for a big swing. Stay blessed, everybody.